Cowboys rookie left guard Tyler Smith was absolutely dominant. Like he was overpowering pretty much anybody that lined up across from him. And of course, everyone's going to talk about the two holding penalties but I think one of the two is a little overblown and we'll get into that a little bit later on. But that being stated, let's just jump right into this. Now, the first rep we're going to get into is the play that Tyler Smith pancakes number 95 here. Now, in this play, Smith is going to 45 degree set and number 95 is going to try to double hand swipe Tyler Smith, also known as the side scissors. Obviously, that does not work. Tyler Smith is using independent hands, which is something that's very critical for offensive linemen. And from there, Smith just overpowers number 95. Like he just uses that natural strength he has, turns 95 and puts him into the dirt. That's a really solid rep by Tyler Smith. Now, I want to switch focus a little bit and talk about the best part of Tyler Smith's game. And that was his run blocking like the guy was crushing people he was moving he was doing things like this where he was double teaming and getting up to the next level and sealing it off for his running back to pick up massive yards just to get into the gritty nitty details of this play right here smith does a great job getting low and really standing up this defensive tackle he helps ball reach to the inside and once he knows ball has this guy he gets up to the linebacker and he doesn't only get up to the linebacker he makes sure to seal the linebacker off like he gets his butt towards the running back and of course from a schematic perspective this is an inside zone so the running back at any point could have theoretically bent it backside and tyler smith would have done a great job on this play specifically and the crazy part is over and over and over again tyler smith was just flat out crushing people when it came to run blocking like in the 15 or so snaps in which he was run blocking he pretty much won every single one of those reps which actually isn't surprising because smith's biggest asset in college was his run blocking and in his first preseason game he was literally moving people three four five yards downfield like smith was moving people now i do want to take a second to focus in on this play right here because i think this is kind of what makes smith such a unique player and why i think for the cowboys he's a perfect fit from a schematic perspective this is a power run specifically a duo run which means you have a double team between the left guard and center and one of those guys is going to move up to the linebacker depending on which way the linebacker reads and fills his run fit so if this linebacker goes to the left of this defense tackle it would be the job of the center if he kind of stands there or goes to the right of the center he is the responsibility of tyler smith smith processes this mid play and is able to get up to that linebacker and he's able to not only get up to him he's able to to push him and seal him off and the running back runs right off of his butt this is a fantastic block from a mental processing perspective one of the biggest improvements i needed to see from smith was his mental processing how does he double and get up to the linebacker how does he read stunts and blitzes and for the most part he did a really nice job he was able to see things that in college i felt like he wouldn't necessarily be able to see and truth be told he did a really solid job in terms of processing Here's a play in which the interior defensive linemen do a stunt and Smith does a great job picking it up. Overall, I really liked what Tyler Smith showed in pass pro and run blocking from a mental processing perspective. Now, of course, Smith did have two penalties and here's the first of the two. Personally, I did not think this was a hold. I think this was a terrible call. You guys can see that this linebacker blitzes. He kind of reads the play a little late. He stumbles and he kind of falls. And I do feel like the referee maybe looked at this guy late and felt like he fell and that Tyler Smith ended up holding him. I thought this was a terrible call, to be honest. I think Smith does a really nice job here because Smith, knowing that it's a sweep to the left, processed that a guy was blitzing and he sees it and he picks it up. Overall, I think this was actually a really nice job from Smith's perspective. Now, the second hold, I think, was a hold. This is an inside zone to the left, and Smith gets out of his stance a little too high. The defensive tackle hits him right in the chest, stands him up, and of course, Smith's hands do land on the outside, and ultimately, when the defensive tackle goes to shed, because Smith's hands were too wide, it was an easy call for the ref. And the final play that Smith made a mistake on, you guys can see, is the fourth and two in which the quarterback threw an interception. The quarterback gets pressured. Now, the reason why Smith made the mistake here is you can tell that the left tackle, center, right guard, and right tackle all slide to their right. Smith slides to his left. Not sure where the miscommunication happened, but because of the fact that Smith slid to his left, it opened up a lane between the center and left guard. And the defensive tackle goes unblocked and smacks the quarterback. Quarterback throws an interception. This is great teach tape for Tyler Smith. He has to know the slide cost. He has to understand the jargon. And again, keep in mind, these last three plays were only three of his 20 plus snaps. Overall, Tyler Smith had a really fantastic game for a rookie. It's clear that the speed of the game is definitely slowing down for him. And I'm really excited to see what he does when the season actually comes around. If this is the first time you guys are on this channel, please consider subscribing. We do all 22 film breakdowns and of course, instant breakdowns like the one you guys see today. And we're going to have so much more content as the season kind of comes around. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.